what is going on guys Sean Don coming back with the technical analysis here we have Tyler Hewitt SDTC online client online member online athlete whatever you want to call it um, so yeah let's take a look <coughs> this is from um, <clears throat> one of his competitions throughout the year and uh, just now finally having the time to break it down uh, European travels really uh, make it hard to get work done. So, one more time. Okay, solid four turn. So let's break it down. Um, so Tyler, right now the biggest thing is uh, it just looks like you need to find steady connection to the ball. Um, lines are fine. Pretty solid, pretty standard. Reaching out nice and long out to the right. Waiting for the ball to pass. Very good job here. Head leads just a little bit, but uh, looks like you're holding that left side pretty well. Uh, waiting for the ball to pass. And then you see, so it's right here. This is kind of your first mistake, is that your right hip needs to drive up and uh, forwards towards the ball. Uh, so you, as you can see your right hip is kind of back away, this pole is in the way, but you can see your right hip is back. Uh, and then at this point you need to drive that right hip forwards towards the ball and step forwards towards the sector and stay more square to the ball. Whereas you can see you have the tendency to step across and try to turn ahead of the ball with your lower body creating separation. Um, the more you can stay square to the ball and get that right hip into the ball, the more powerful and efficient the throw is going to be. Um, but since you do you kind of pick up a little bit early too. You can see the rifle comes off just before, probably about 80 degrees or so, and because of that, you are very quick with the single support. <clears throat> and you catch the balls in line with the uh, left sector, but uh, your right foot is a little bit too shallow. It's too, or it's too, it's too deep into the se into the sector, towards the sector. Uh, so then what happens is it makes it hard once again to get that right hip up into the throw. Um, and complete the turn fully. So as you can see, that right foot comes down, and you're trying to turn it and work it with the ball, which is pretty good, and this left side still holds pretty steady. But then you see you get to a point, like right about here, where you're like, oh shit, my right hip can't work up into the ball because I'm kind of blocking myself out with this left leg. So then what you do is you pull that left side back. You see this left side go up and back away from the ball. And that's what you do to get your right hip into the ball instead of... Um, so you need to try to land a little bit more uh, square, or at least just let the entry go a little bit longer. Um, and, uh, yeah, you let that entry go a little bit longer, you catch a little bit uh, less staggered, therefore that right hip can work a little bit better. That left shoulder can calm down a little bit more. And then everything gets a lot more efficient. So now you can see you start to get that right hip up into the ball a little bit more here because that left side pulls away but then same thing you have the tendency to step um, around step around rotationally and try to create separation um, instead of driving forwards towards 180 and staying square with the ball you'd be able to catch the ball right about here as opposed to there and that little 15 degrees makes a big difference um, Looks like you get your hips a little bit more forwards underneath you, or at least your shoulders back over your hips more. Looks like you're a little bit forwards. Um, and then... The ball takes this weird jump. You see, it gets, like, looks like it's coming down this way, and then it jumps out, out, shoots out that way. Not exactly sure why. Maybe it's just the camera angle. Uh, left heel comes down. <coughs> and then, yeah, so that left heel comes down, and this left side is just super impatient right here. So when you catch, and this is what happens when you when you catch with that over rotational lower body, um, that left heel comes down, and then that left shoulder starts to go. Uh, when what needs to happen is you need to wait and turn with the ball, and then you, you need to wait until you work it until about here, whereas you start working it as soon as that left heel comes down, like right there, and you can see that left shoulder goes up and away and back, and you get tight. You see that bicep coming across the body, and this left leg really extending and pushing away down this. Uh, on this left sector line, um, and yeah, just opening up a little bit early, and that creates unnecessary tension and kind of throws the orbit off just a little bit. But uh, same thing, right hip, 
He's trying to get into the throw, but this left side is just doing too much. And then you see you get some tension through the upper body. And same thing, this right leg motion, this single support motion needs to be more uh, up and over this left leg and more front to back rather than uh, so rotational. Uh, the, the ball will take you around. The lower body and your body in general needs to work more linear rather than um, rotational. It's a fine balance. Um, and you can see, like I said, that right side still kind of... So it's a, what really starts is this left side tightens up, ball goes up, and with that left side so tight, the direction of the energy of the ball is down this left sector line. And then so you end up catching pretty late on this last turn. And, uh, or, or it's third turn, sorry. Catch kind of late. <clears throat> Come around a little bit so you, as you can see your feet are more uh, even. And then um, with catching late, your left side is going to have to pull to... Uh, let's say keep up with the ball and that's exactly what it does same thing as the previous turn that left side goes up and away from the ball rather than letting it go long out around the left side your left side's pulling back and trying to create tension um, and then you can see it's more drastic here that left shoulder really pulling back and once again energy the ball going down this left sector line rather than going down the right sector line or even towards 180 um, and then same thing that left side super active so you catch late the latest catch of the whole throw and then you hold on to it and finish and looks like it lands just barely in the sector um, so yeah overall Tyler um, a solid entry you just gotta use the energy of the ball and you gotta be more linear like I said with that right leg and single support stay more square to it get better, po get better posture shoulders over hips a little bit more and then just wait for the ball. Wait for the ball more in each turn, way longer. And then calm down that left side. Yeah. So your first two turns are pretty good, but the, the last two is what kind of throws you off. So just got to relax. And uh, wait for the ball to do its thing more in one and two. And then in three and four, it pretty much takes care of itself. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Send me some more video. Um, and yeah. So. Let me know if you have any questions. If anybody else out there wants technical analysis, go to SeanDonnelly.biz, go to the services page, sign up for an in-depth technical analysis, and let's get to work. It's off-season. Make them gains. Make them changes so you can set big PRs next year. All right? The off-season is where champions are made. So, all right. Thanks for watching, Sean Don. Peace and out.